Let's solve the following linear system using elimination. So we have 3x plus 5y plus 5y equals 10. And we also have x minus 2y equals 8. All right, so this is our linear system. And when we look at it, we don't have um, any variables that have either opposite coefficients or identical coefficients. Um, but what we do have is we have a positive 3x and, an, and a positive 1x right here. So let's go ahead and take uh, this second equation here and we can multiply it by what's called a scalar. Scalar is a fancy term for just a number. And we're gonna multiply this by a minus three. When we do so, x is going to become a minus 3x, which is the opposite of plus 3x. So when we go to combine these two equations by, by ways of elimination, those two terms will cancel and we'll have y by itself in one equation. So let's go ahead and do this. So we have minus 3x plus 6y equals minus 24. Minus 24. Okay. So let's go ahead and combine these two equations. We have 3x plus 5y equals 10. And we can do this, this will be effective because we have a 3x here and a minus 3x here. So when we add these two equations, we have 3x and minus 3x, which will cancel. We have our 6y and our minus 24. All right, so let's go ahead and combine these two equations. We have 11y equals a minus 14, we can divide both sides by 11 to solve for y, and we simply get y equals a minus 14 elevenths. So we have one value for one of our variables, and we can proceed to plug it into either equation to find the value for the other variable. Um, here we just have x by itself, so let's go ahead and uh, that might be a little simpler. So we have x minus 2 times y, which is a minus 14 elevenths equals 8. All right, let's go ahead and solve for x. Um, negative and negative gives us a positive 28 over 11, which equals 8. We can go ahead and solve for x by subtracting 28 over 11 from both sides. These two terms will cancel, leaving us with x equals, um, we can go ahead and uh, convert 8 into 88 over 11. So we have a common denominator and we can combine these two fractions in the next step. That leaves us with 60 over 11 and that's our, vari or that's our value for our variable x. Now we can go ahead and write our solution to the system. We have x is 60 over 11 and y, oh, that's not pi, that's 60 over 11, and we have minus 14 over 11 for y. Once again, we can check that this is the indeed the exact solution to this system of equation um, by plugging in 60 over 11 everywhere we see x in both equations and minus 14 over 11 for y in both equations and both of them will equal out. So very useful practice um, to check our answers. Uh, let's go ahead and look at another one. We have the following system of 5x minus 6y equals minus 16 and we also have minus 7x plus 12y equals 32. So this is our linear system. Um, we look through and we don't have any variables that have um, identical coefficients or opposite coefficients, but um, pretty close here. We have minus six for y and the coefficient of y and plus 12 for y. So um, if we take equation one, take equation one, um, we can make the coefficient of y the opposite of the coefficient of y over here by multiplying through by a positive 2. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's multiply by 2. That'll give us the new equation of 10x minus 12, 12y equals a minus 32. So this is our new equation for equation 1. Now we can go ahead and combine these two equations by addition and that'll cancel one of our variables and we can solve for the other variable. So let's go ahead and write minus 7x plus 12y equals 32. We're going to add the second equation to it, or the first equation, however you want to look at it. We have 10x minus 12y equals a negative 32. 
We're actually going to have these two terms cancel as well. These two terms cancel. So we're going to be stuck with 3x equals 0, which means x equals 0. We can divide both sides by 3, or we can just say x equals 0. All right, so um, that's, that's not a problem here. That's definitely okay. There's nothing to write home about when you get a value of 0 uh, for one of our variables. That just means um, this, is a, this is the, gives us the y-intercept, um, which is what we'll be finding. We'll be finding the point, the solution to this system of equations, is where this line crosses the y-axis, or where the value of x is 0. Um, but we should know that by now. So let's go ahead and plug in x into either equation. Um, we can plug it into this one, so we'll get a positive y. So we have minus 7x, or 7 times 0, plus 12y equals 32. These two terms cancel, which leaves us with 12y equals 32. And we simply divide both sides by 12, which will isolate our variable. And we'll be left with y equals uh, 32 over 12. Um, that can be simplified by pulling out a factor of 2 out of the top and the bottom, which give us a 16 over 6. Um, we can actually further simplify that. We should have pulled out a factor of 4, but that's okay. So we have 8 over 3. Instead of pulling out a factor of 4 out of this one, we'll pull out a factor of 2 here and a factor of 2 here, which will give us the same answer. So we have the solution point for this system of equations of 0 and 8 over 3. This is also known as the y-intercept. So what we can say is these two lines intersect where the line crosses the y-axis. So it's actually that'd be fairly uh, useful to know um, if we actually go about graphing that system of equations. All right, let's do one more. We have the system uh, x minus y equals minus 3 and 9x uh, minus 3y equals 7. So this is our system of linear equations and when we look at it we can't subtract uh, one variable from the other, we can't subtract or add one equation to the other and have one of our variables cancel, but what we can do is we can uh, multiply this one by a number to get um, either the x's to add up and cancel or the y's to add up and cancel. Um, let's go ahead and multiply doesn't really matter which one we're trying to get to cancel. Let's go ahead and multiply equation 1 by a scalar or a factor of minus 3. What that will do is we can uh, get a plus 3y here, and we'll have a minus 3y here, which when we add the equations, those two terms will cancel. Now notice we can also um, subtract, or excuse me, uh, multiply equation 1 by negative 9 which will give us a negative 9x here and have a positive 9x here, which we can add these two equations and those two terms will cancel. Or we can even multiply by a positive 9, which will give us 9x and 9x, and we can subtract the two equations. So um, there's three different ways that we can, uh, or there's more than that, but there's three different ways where we can multiply one equation by a scalar and we'll actually get um, whole numbers. So we can actually multiply this equation by some fractions, but fractions are messy. So let's go ahead and multiply this through. We have minus 3x plus, we have negative and negative, gives us a positive. 3y equals minus 3 and minus 3 multiply to give 9. So we have our new equation for this half of the system, and we're going to add these two equations. So we have 9x minus 3y equals 7. Going to add the, this equation to it, we have minus 3x plus 3y equals 9. We're just manipulating one of the equations so we can use this, the elimination strategy, which uh, I, in my opinion is much simpler than some substitution. So we have 9x minus 3x is 6x, 7 and 9 is 16. We can divide both sides by 6 to get our value for x, which is uh, 2 over 3 or excuse me, 8 over 3. We're factoring out 2 out of the top and the bottom. So 8 over 3 is our value for x, which we can proceed to plug into either equation to find our value for y. Let's go ahead and plug it into the first one since our variables have a coefficient of 1. So we have x, which is 8 over 3, minus y equals a minus 3. Uh, let's go ahead and subtract both sides by 8 over 3, 
we want our, val our variable on the left hand side, everything else on the right. So we have minus y equals a minus eight over three, minus three. Um, three can also be written as nine over three. So just like uh, when we're subtracting equations, instead of subtracting nine over three, we're going to add the opposite of nine over three. So we get minus y, let's don't forget our minus sign over here because it's gonna be important in a second. Minus eight and minus nine is minus 17 over three. And we can finish this off by dividing both sides by minus one, just flipping the signs of each side. All these negatives will cancel, giving us a y equals a positive 17 over three. And that's our second value for the other variables. So now we have our solution. Let's go ahead and write it over in this corner. The exact solution for this system of equations is 8 thirds and 17 thirds, which means these two lines will intersect in quadrant one at this particular point. All right, and we can check this, that this is indeed the exact solution to this system by plugging um, x and y into this equation, plugging it into this equation, and both of them will equal out. So we're solving systems of uh, linear equations by, well, we're doing it by elimination, but we're using multiplication of scalars to uh, manipulate one of the equations so we can actually add or subtract them. Um, in the next section, uh, we'll do a video on an application of using something like this, of uh, multiplying an equation by a scalar to solve a real-world situation. So I'll see you in the next video.